What's good internet and welcome to my channel. My name is DJ Loso and today I just want to show you the making of my song called Bleeding. It's an indie rock type of song but my lyrics are in Shona. Shona is an official, it's a Zimbabwean official language. That's the native language there in Zimbabwe. So I did it in Shona and all that kind of stuff but the instrumentation is indie and all that kind of stuff. But let me tell you something. I'm not going to show you all the tips and tricks on how I mix the vocals. But if you'd like to buy my course, the description on how to get in touch with me. Uh, I mean, the information on how to get in touch with me is in the description below. And the other thing, consider subscribing so that I'll keep on uploading videos like this in the future. So I just want to show you some of the few tips that you didn't know. Some of the few tips that you didn't know. But after watching this video, you know everything. So watch it till the end. It's not going to be long, but it's just going to be, you know, just a short video to show you some of the tricks. So let me just play the song for a bit, right? I just want to play from uh, the first verse up until the chorus. Let's go. I'm bleeding. I'm grieving. I'm grieving. I'm I'm a man. Yes, I know. But sometimes it's in on the kunda Yes, I'm strong. That I know. But sometimes it's in on the tikirira. And the shinga wakaza wa munika izere ne namu unongo kia kia. Diri mugombara kazi kazi karizere ne means wa inondi baya. Pandi noronga mano zivari sava chindi tikirira. Ah, andi rare ninga rare se kone mazi tikirira. Ah, dino kula roba every day asindi chifema. Ah, dino zivara musaji wone. That's the song. So you got the idea. Now you know what the song is all about. How the song sounds. Okay, now let's get into what I've done first before I exported the vocals. I rendered them and then brought them into Cubase again. I used this option in edit and then render in place with the effects and all that kind of stuff. So this option is only available in Cubase Pro and Cubase Artist right so here's what i did right right after i brought um the vocals into cubase first um you know i'm not using this so let me just remove it um first i i did put audition because i didn't export with audition if you export the vocals if you want to bring them back and edit them again with Auditune, you might find out that there is too much Auditune or less Auditune. So it will be, it will be difficult for you to control that Auditune. So if you, your computer is, uh, you know, uh, the CPU is not handling the effects, if you want to render in place, make sure that you deactivate Auditune and then you activate it again when you import the the vocals back into the cubase so here's what i did on my audition these are my settings um you know the key is in a minor of course I'll, i love to put it on burst and then the return speed i love it on zero maybe just a little bit on two and then humanize it of course and then turn everything down on the vibrato and everything and then i leave this natural vibrato on 0, 0.0 that's it that's what i do that's my audition there and then now I've got this beast. It's a tap that I love. It actually gives me that tap sound. Okay, let me just play the vocals. I want you to listen. Let me deactivate the effects. Uh, I mean the reverb and delay. I want you to listen to the vocal, right? Yeah. Let me... <laughs> And it are and in God are a say, Conemas is Zikirida. And they know Buddha up every day as in the chief fame. And they know Zivara Musas we won. So I want to put no wrong after and before. So let's just, let's just before. Governor Zivari Savachin is Zikirida. After. 
Andirare ningara. So it's it's actually giving me some saturation, a little bit of saturation. I I do explain saturation in my courses. If you're interesting, I, I said it before. The just get in touch with me. I that's where I explain saturation and and distortion. So this tap plugin is actually emulating some of the expensive boards that you see in studios, and it's actually giving me a little bit of saturation and distortion and what we call upwards compression at the same time that's why i have it there that's my favorite and then here on the channel strip i'm not using this eq it's just deactivated just i'm i'm using this magneto it's also a saturation plugin that i'm just using it's just a subtle saturation because i've i record i i record my vocals with saturation and then i I, I, I mix with saturation, I master with saturation, but I don't exaggerate. I just record with a little bit and then when mixing, I mix with a little bit and then with mastering, I also master with a little bit of saturation. So this Magneto, it's a, it's a, a saturation plugin that comes in Cubase. Uh, it's just a native Cubase plugin that I'm also putting there. And then I have what we call New York compression. As you can see, I've created a bus down here. And then on my vocal mix bus, this is where all my leads are coming, right? Um, I, on my sends, I then put the New York compression. I'm just applying it a little bit. Let me play it. I want you to listen what it does. So on the New York compression, what I'm doing is I'm over compressing i'm squashing the, the signal and all that kind of stuff and then the ratio is on all the release is the slowest release and then the attack is around mid attack and then what i'm doing right here i am actually squashing the vocals then blended them with the vocals that are not squashed so that i get that thick you know uh, effect so that my vocal will sound uh, thick and all that kind of stuff if you listen to the instrumental it's a busy instrumental so my vocal will sink in i need my vocals to be a little bit thick i need my vocals to be strong in my face so that they will stand out even if the beat is very noisy and all that kind of stuff that's what i'm doing it's called new york compression aka parallel compression that's what i'm doing there so what's next what's next okay i've got my backing vocals let me play my backing vocals alone so the same thing i exported the vo big vocals and brought them back and then what i'm doing here there's auto tune and then there is this chorus uh, 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 uh this is cubase chorus you can see the settings and then right here i've got the tap again i've already explained what this tap is doing and then on my sense right here I have a little bit of reverb that I'm applying to the background vocals, right? And then down here on my FX channel, I have whole reverb. That's where my reverb is coming from. I don't put reverb in my insets. I put it as sense. And then I have got a chord delay right here. On the delay, I have uh, the Valhalla. I love this. And it's running on, on half note. Uh, the mix is on 100%. These are the settings and it's on dual mode. I love it. Let me just play it. I want you to hear what this reverb, uh, um, delay is doing. Right? Okay. Okay. So what I'm doing is the, the compressor on the reverb is being uh, controlled. The reverb is being controlled by this compressor. These are my settings that I actually love to put. Um, yeah. So it's like this compressor is telling the delay that, hey, don't actually fight with the vocal until the vocal is quiet. And then the compressor will let the delay. But when the vocal is actually 
uh you know in in motion the delay you can't hear the delay right but when the delay uh, 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 uh the vocal is not in motion that's when you hear the delay i want my delays to fill the gaps i don't want my delay to actually fight with my vocal that's what i'm doing and then this on my effects I've got what I call mother doubler. That's where my doubler is. If I feel like my vocals ain't thick enough, like especially in, in choruses. Uh, okay. I can just put my mother doubler right here and apply a little bit of thickness there. Um, okay, let me just. I don't want it to sound more wider, this lead vocal. I want it to sound a little bit of thick and all that kind of stuff. So this doubling is actually giving me a little bit of, of thickness. That's my other trick that I do to vocals. And then as you can see, my beat, this is called two-way mixing. Well, I did made the beat in FL Studio and then brought in in here. As you can see, the beat is not is not mastered, is not limited. I just put a soft limiter and all that kind of stuff, and then decrease a little bit of uh, you know, it's called clip declipping um minus 1.38 db so that i don't clip so everything is is going to this that i call master bus this is where i control the volume of everything except the beat and then this beat i will send it to the master bus again and then from the master bus it's going to the stereo output and then i make sure that everything is on minus 6 db before i export it for mastering that's it thanks for watching if you want to learn more about mixing mastering and all that kind of stuff i'm the guy please consider getting in touch with me the information is in the description below thanks for watching until next time dj loss Jean